<clears throat> Greetings friends and fellow gamers and welcome to Reapers and Renegades fourth episode. I'm Adam your host and today we're on Red Dead Redemption 2 again. Today I'm going to show you how in story mode to rob the secret business under the general store in Strawberry and how to do it without getting any bounty at all whatsoever or at least that's the plan. And remember, if you enjoy this video, then please hit that like and subscribe button and remember to hit that bell for notifications of our latest videos. So without further ado, let's get cracking guys. So, we've woken up here with our horse. Obviously we're on story mode as I said, uh, we're in Le Moines. So what we're going to do, we're well, not ride into the stables where we're sleeping. We're going to just go up the street a little bit here to the fast travel because we need to go to strawberry where's the fast travel go? oh there it is oh. right. so heading off to strawberry as you can see it's eight dollars thirty and uh, I'll see you once we get there guys Oh crikey, Morgana. Morgana's in the way. Okay guys and girls, so now we're here in Strawberry. Let's just grab our horse. And we're just gonna go over here to where you can see that question mark oh my lord oh crikey yeah this could be a problem right so yeah be very careful in town as you can see almost had a drastic moment there that created a crime before we even did a crime Thankfully, I didn't kill anybody. So, yeah, be careful with your horse in Strawberry, as I say. It's a little bit crazy here. Not a lot of room. Especially for a great big horse like we're going to, right, I'm going to put her across the road here. But I'm not actually going to hitch her up in case I have to get out of Dodge in a haste. Right, so. Now that we're actually here... I'm going to show you exactly where we are on the map, although I'm sure everybody by now knows where Strawberry is, but here you go, it's just Strawberry here, the general store, but you want to be looking at the walkway up to the general store, because if you come under here, you will find that you can peek through this window. So, peeking through the window, you'll actually see that uh, beneath the general store we seem to have an illegal hooch operation going on okay and obviously you have to do this first guys and as you'll see i just got an alert for an auto safe but i just got an alert up in the left top left hand corner saying we found a hidden operation at the shop you can now rob it basically so you come out from here okay now obviously i'm going to go over to my horse just in case this actually goes terribly wrong i have done this before and then returned to my safe so i could film it for you guys but i'm sure it could possibly go wrong so just in case i'm going to arm up and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to walk down here very calmly we're just going to go into the shop and essentially rob it now there'll be a couple of points that i will make here you could uh, do a save i'm not going to in case it goes wrong because <coughs> this is actually my first attempt since doing it and going back to the save so i'm not going to put a save i suppose i could actually yeah really i should do so let, let's do a save here in case anything goes wrong we've already found out about it 
from this well obviously you could always return to it so as to get the maximum rewards from the actual robbery itself and not have to pay it all out in bounty for Kelly Lawman to get away so just quick save over that one right so before we go in there we're going to want to stick our mask up and we walk straight in just approach him aim your weapon and tell him to rob the basement press up on the d-pad you do not want Okay, you do not want to rob his actual till or anything in the store because that will be a crime. At the moment you're only robbing him for his illicit stuff which is how you're going to get away with it as long as you don't actually do anything or get seen by anybody. So like I say, don't actually tackle him, don't hog tie him, don't beat him, don't rob the till. I mean obviously you can if you want to get the dishonour but if you're trying to be an honourable cowboy and you're just sort of slapping his wrists a little bit for uh, bending the rules and sort of taking your share obviously I've got my gun in case he tries anything now again if you just pop your eagle eye you'll see, you'll see that there's some uh, items flashing around I don't know why, I've, why it won't do it ok I don't know why but anyway on here you can grab some gin some Kentucky bourbon there's canned vegetables and meat and things but I'm already full over on this little shelf unit here there's something it is actually quite worth listening to him. I know I'm talking over him, but obviously I've already heard it. When you do it yourselves, you'll be able to listen to him. And he is actually quite funny. But now, basically, once you've done that, we need to get the money out of him, but we don't want to hurt him. So what we're going to do is we're going to aim our weapon at him again. Right, so I'll lower the gun. Okay, then you're going to head over here to this area. And you'll inspect the brick. And take the cash. Which is like a nice little 50 bucks. It's not bad at all. Okay, at this point there's nothing left to actually take. There's no need to harangue him anymore or anything. So what I do now is basically just climb up here. And while you're still behind the counter, quickly take your mask off. And then just walk out. And obviously we don't want to hang around too long, so let's get on our horse. And ride out of town. We'll try not to kill him. We've got no mad panic to draw attention or anything. And as you can see, we've escaped, we've taken the money, he's still alive. He's obviously going to remember in future, but he knows that we caught him with his... Uh, his hands, sort of red-handed, sorry. No, we're not his hands in the till, if you like, no being naughty, so. He can't report it to the old uh, the old bill, as I call it, and it was pointed out to me yesterday. I keep referring to them as the old bill, what you would call sheriffs or the cops. Sorry, obviously, I'm English, guys. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Basically, a nice, simple, quick and easy way to rob a business like that. Now, there are a few other businesses, and I will do a few uh, other videos around the uh, the hidden businesses under businesses and things like that obviously to show how to get the best results out of them and how to try and get away without a bounty and things again okay guys i hope you've enjoyed the video i've enjoyed making it again a big shout of thanks out to everybody who's been supporting me this end and uh, again to those who inspired me outlaw gary and lord Ke uh, kevin I really do appreciate that the hard work that they put in now that I'm doing it myself I also understand how much it actually takes so again hats off to you guys and uh, thanks again for uh, inspiring me to give it a go that's all for this episode thank you for watching and please remember if you haven't already to hit that like and subscribe button and to hit that bell for notifications of our latest videos and please feel free to leave any comments in the section below especially if there's something you'd like to see me do or make a video on and of course, thank you once again to all of you who have shown your support by subscribing already. You rock, guys, you truly do. So please, take care and keep on gaming. Laters, guys and girls.